But first, see, Steve Sexton wants to pad your pocket with some free financial advice. Hi, everybody. Today, we're going to be focusing on tax planning. Now, most retirees have all their income flowing into one bucket, and that bucket of income is utilized to figure out how much taxes you're going to pay on your Social Security. And you know what? You lose a lot of control with that because if you're not utilizing the income you're spending, it still goes on to your tax return. If you're taking a distribution from an investment that's lost money or having an income stream, you're still flowing on to your tax return. And if you're generating assets for heirs or your favorite charity, it's still flowing on to your tax return. This loss of control creates shorter investment choices, shorter rates of return, unknown risk, as well as higher taxation. Informed retirees, they utilize a second and third bucket. What they do is they take their income that they need for the now and the rest of it move into a future bucket and an estate bucket. In the future bucket, the investment decisions are based off a long-term wise philosophy for investment decisions as well as tax deferral or tax-free income strategies that will enable somebody to perhaps get higher rates of return for those income needs in the future. In addition to that, there's a little spigot and they can turn on that spigot anytime they want to purchase an RV, finance a trip, to, uh, to pay for an emergencies or fruit your income needs. Now, the money is put into the estate bucket. We want to make sure it doesn't flow onto the tax return. But at the same time, we want to make sure it's available to be pulled out of that estate bucket to put into the now bucket or the future bucket as needed. Now, bottom line, if you utilize the three bucket approach, you'll be able to have wider investment choices, higher rates of return, lower taxes, lower risk, money for emergencies and future events, and the peace of mind to know that the plan matches your needs and desires as opposed to having a bunch of investments that might not be working for you or be in your best interest from a tax planning standpoint. That's it for today. Now remember, smart financial decisions do impact the quality of your life.